What's up, Brozones? Welcome to the Ozone, and welcome to part four of Pop Goes Arcade. I hope that you are enjoying this playthrough so far. We're getting through the game pretty fast, I think. Um, I think we are almost there, or at least the Dead Forest, the, the Dead Forest game. So, now we need to go to the East Forest. We just got two upgrades that are going to let us do some cool things. So, let's try them out in the East Forest. So, there should be fruit here. There we go! We found a fruit! That's such a cool ability right there. Hello, Saffron. Are you getting tired of running around the place yet? I'm not actually, because I have the run upgrade. So that's cool. Uh, let's go this way. Let's grab this fruit. Oh, th you just get so many fruits. That's so funny. So, hello, Balloon Boy. It's time that we need to grind again to get the spiky shield. Complete the East Forest hit list to get the spiky shield. Your shields will hurt your opponents. Beautiful. Everything has been thought out so well in this game. So we have an owl. We have, well, we have 10 owls. We have 10 beavers. And we have three wolves. Or wolves. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, let's go into the shop. We have a hundred coins to spend, so let's get a max HP. And I would, I'd say we, I mean, we don't actually need HP up anymore, really. So let's just save up for a shield, I think. Okay. This game is starting to get very tactical at the start. It was basically just kind of RNG and luck. But now it's getting... Whoa! Wait a second. Okay, so here's the jump ability. So this game is going to get very complicated when we've got more things down here. So with the jump ability, can I just do this? Oh, wow. That's so sick. Okay. Okay. The thing is, I need to do that manually, don't I? So that automatically just completely dodges an attack. Which is amazing, because we know when they're going to crit. Speaking of crits, <laughs> that's actually completely amazing when you think about that. So, I can jump now. Oh, that's sick. Oh, that's such a sick upgrade to have. We just completely miss. Oh, they just completely missed their crits. So, okay. Okay, this is great. I am loving this game. Okay, unfortunately we can't do it again, so we have to block. But eventually we're going to have a spiky shield, meaning that's going to attack them as well. So that's cool. So let's just keep attacking. There we go. This is, this is so cool. I, I'm going to be saying this is so cool a lot throughout this playthrough. I probably already have as well, without even realising. But uh, this is really cool, you have to admit. Hello, Blake. Have you noticed that the biggest cluster of lasers is coming from the abandoned castle? The one that is in the North Forest. Yes, okay. That makes sense. Let's jump over here, see what's here. We have pink paint. Okay, I never figured out what the paint does because I'm recording this like two seconds after the last episode, but... Uh, okay, so it looks like we have another... Oh, an emerald coin. I thought it was going to be a key. And we have another fruit. Cool. Okay. I really love the, the areas where you can jump and zip line and stuff. <clears throat> Let's save our progress. And it looks like stone is here. Oh, while we're here, let's actually... I kind of want to upgrade again. Uh, oh, wait, we can't. <laughs> Never mind. I do kind of want to get the escape, even though I said it wasn't going to be that useful. I think while we're grinding, it could be useful by the end when we're getting enemies that we don't want. Uh, so that that point of it, I think, is good. I hope you can fix all of this soon, Pop Goes. So do I. So do I. Um, emerald here. I almost missed that. Oh, we can upgrade now. <laughs> Hook battle. 
This upgrade will give you a super powerful attack every three turns. Oh my gosh, we're going to be able to get the hook attack? That is insane. Okay. That's crazy, actually. I'm I'm going to be looking out for emeralds then, because I want that. <laughs> Okay, so let's have a look at Bonnie real quick. I have a feeling we're not going to win this because he has an amazing amount of HP ups. Uh, Pop goes, you have proven to be a very strong rat thing. <laughs> okay, so there's the escape button down there. I like that placement of the escape button. That's very nice. Let's attack. So he has a lot of attack. Uh, let's jump. Honestly, he has a lot of HP ups, but we also have a lot of HP ups. He has a HP up of 90. Okay, or 95, sorry. So this isn't going to work. Uh, yeah, this is going to be an infinitely long battle. Isn't it? I think it could be. Oh my gosh, I'm not able to do any damage to him. Okay. Yeah, the, oh no, come on. No. <laughs> this is... This is not possible. Okay, so I, I think what the game is telling me right now is that I need the hook attack. I need to be able to hook Bonnie in order to win the fight. I think is what the game is telling me. Um, otherwise, it's literally not possible. To, to, yeah. Okay. I think we can win this as long as we get the hook the hook ability. Uh, speaking of the hook ability, uh, we can zipline. So that's cool. Um, corrupt owl. Oh, another area. Okay. Another fruit. Another emerald. Behind the tree. Okay, we got another door key then, so that's interesting. So, another owl. You know what time it is, folks? It is grind time. <laughs> okay, yeah, so I'm at a point where I've killed five beavers, which is all I need. Uh, and I actually I don't need to fight anymore so I can just escape that's such I love that I love how that's actually been Im implemented into the game this game this game is honestly a masterpiece honestly like and also one thing I do want to say which is very exclusive like I haven't said this anywhere else apart from my discord really is that we're actually probably going to interview Kane Carter at one point, and it's going to be really, really cool to meet him. Um, it hasn't been organised yet, but hopefully it will in the near future. But uh, yeah, we, we have a FNAF podcast called The Dark Rooms Podcast, and we've interviewed people like Dee Huster, who does the Dorco songs, and CG5, who does amazing songs on many different franchises. Uh, and hopefully we're going to be able to interview... Kane Carter, which is going to be so sick. So uh, go follow the podcast. This is not a promotion. Well, it is, but I don't know why I'm fighting a beaver. Okay, so I'm not at the balloon boy yet. I'm. I need two more wolves. That's it. Uh, luckily, I can skip battles, so that will be easy to do. But I am at the shop, and I have 350 coins now because of that grind. So. We're definitely going to need some HP ups, and that's all that I can get. I, I, ha I have max HP and max attack in this game. So, 
The rest, I guess, is just spent on shields and pizzas. And... Hmm. I'm not really sure about the defense plus. Or the attack plus. Well, actually, attack plus is good. We've, we've had that before. Let's get two of them. Let's get two shields. And two pizzas. Uh... Sure, let's get two more attack pluses. <laughs> Why not? Let's be cheeky. <laughs> okay. So, we now just need two wolves. Uh, I would also love to find an emerald, because then we can we can get the hook attack, and then we can fight Bonnie instantly and probably win. Why am I playing this? <laughs> I just got an achievement called Leave Me Alone. <laughs> I've been skipping so many battles. I'm I'm just trying to find some wolves, sir. Uh, oh my god. Come on! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Why are you not finding any encounters? Is it because I'm walking against a rock, probably? Yeah. Okay. No! <laughs> Alright. Come on, there must be an emerald somewhere. Like, I don't know where emeralds are supposed to spawn and when they're supposed to spawn do they just spawn like randomly or are there set places which they've spawned and now I can't get more you know uh, I'm kind of scared because I have a feeling like I, I have a weird feeling in my stomach that I was supposed to spend their emeralds on the foxy upgrades so that I was able to beat Bonnie, but obviously, like, there wouldn't be. Yeah, it, it, it that wouldn't that wouldn't be true. That wouldn't be a mechanic. Yeah, my big like this is actually a really tough battle, but my big advantage in this is that I have the jump, dodge, and uh, and yeah, that is my big advantage because he uses up a full turn. Uh, while I get an extra 30, 30 attack in. And he missed. I just need a crit. Give me a crit. Oh, yeah! Oh, I sensed that. That was, that was really weird. <laughs> I have psych, psychotic abilities. Psychic abilities, yeah. There we go. Okay. Just to make sure... Uh, I should have one wolf left to kill. Yeah, okay. Come on! I don't want to play all day. Well, I do, but I can't. Okay. Easy battle! Easy! That was the last wolf. We can now get the uh, spiky shield upgrade. But before I go back there, I... I'm wondering if I have missed an emerald in one of the other two forests. So I'm gonna look for emeralds and hopefully I'm gonna find an emerald. Because really I like I'm missing one emerald. Right? I really like where Emerald, emerald, emerald. It's really difficult, especially in the green forest, to find. Oh my gosh! Let's go! I'm such an idiot. I found it. I found the emerald I was looking for. It was in the west forest. It was the last screen I looked. <laughs> okay. That's great. That's such good news. Okay. So you know what this means, right? This means we are able to fight Bonnie now. So we can upgrade a hook. So we now do a lot of damage. <clears throat> and we can now go... Well, we should have saved there, really. It doesn't matter. We'll go to the snow forest. Or the winter forest. We will upgrade to a spiky shield. And we will save. And we should be completely over-prepared for Bonnie, really. Like, this should be an easy fight. Okay, spike shield. Okay. Alright, Pop goes. The corruption clearly isn't over, but you've done what I've asked. You're getting stronger, and I can see these upgrades have helped. 
But there's one last thing I'd like to give you, and this is more of a gift than anything. It won't help you with your journey, but maybe you can use it when it, this is all over, and it will be over soon, I'm sure. Just visit the Garden Inn, and you'll see what you've earned. Thanks, mate. Keep going. Wait a second. What a... I'm now just really curious. So we're going to go straight to, back to the garden. <laughs> what is going on? Okay. What have I earned? What have I earned? Oh, okay. We can try the hook. 90 damage. It does 90 damage. And Balloon Boy... I mean, not Balloon Boy. Bonnie heals 95. So this fight is going to be easy. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Man, I've already been recording for like half an hour. This has taken a while. Okay. We're at the end. Whoa! Is that a jukebox? Oh, wow! I, actually, I can't hear them because... Oh, wait, they cost money. <laughs> they cost coins. Oops, I just spent some. Anyway. Cool, thanks, Balloon Boy, for the, the jukebox that I didn't want. Wait! Oh. <laughs> Thank you so much for purchasing the premium experiences. Thanks, we have provided you with your own, very own luxury accommodation at the Forest Inns. You can rest here whenever you like. You can also decorate the place if you provide the paint. And lastly, Minora has given you something called a bestiary. It's on the desk. It's a book that can be used to log your experience in the forest. More specifically, the enemies that you may encounter. We hope you enjoy your stay at our inns. Good luck out there, and we hope to see you again soon. I was supposed to find this, like, right at the beginning of the game, wasn't I? But I thought I'd try to go through the door, and it didn't work. Anyway. The bestiary. Oh, wow. And if you look top right, like we're missing some and stuff. What am I missing here? Ah, oh, this is so cool. I love this. Okay, that's, that's, that's really cool. Bestiary, uh, we have like a thingy, yeah. My, my waistcoat changes! Oh, we have to, we have to be purple, or pink, or whatever. It, we either, we're either blue, ah, oh, blue is pretty cool. Okay, we're gonna, we, we'll stick with blue, we'll stick with blue. I like blue. Okay, this is where I'd put my trophies, if I had any. Okay, so there's gonna be multiple things to do, I guess, once the game is over. I, I look a lot like, uh, Sarah right now. Anyway, let's go fight Bonnie. I'm, I've been stalling for so long. <laughs> okay, I'm going to say this right now. There is no way we are losing this fight. There is absolutely no way. If I lose this fight, uh, I don't know. I'll post something funny on Twitter. I don't know. <laughs> uh, that was not a good bet. Okay, so I now do... 50% more damage or 100% more damage? I don't remember. I'm going to jump so that I dodge his attack. I'm going to hook him, which does 135 damage. He's going to dig for 95. I'm going to keep attacking him. Jump. Hook. Oh, wow. I, I actually really like the hook. A crit? Wow. <laughs> this is so good. I should have used a hook there, but whatever. Use it now. Can the hook be a crit as well? Because if it's a crit, then it does 270 damage. <laughs> Which is a little bit overpowered.
I love how tactical this game has become. It's so intriguing. Ah, for goodness sake. He's going to be so angry at us. Oh, is that a, that a glimpse at Freddy? Freddy's going to be angry at us? Okay. So we got Dig. I forgot about this. Use, use this to dig under boulders. Oh! I see. Collect emerald coins and speak to Minora to upgrade your abilities to acquire on your journey. Okay. Exciting. So we're going to access the machine now. Ah, that makes sense. Okay, so dig under. Cool, okay. That's... Ah, oh, this is such a good game. <laughs> I love this game. These forests have been saved. Enemies no longer spawn here. Cool. So, once again, before we speak to Sara, we have to go back to the other forests and check what's, uh, what's under slash over the boulders that are there. So, I will see you there. Okay, boulder number one. We have another, like, campsite place. This is very nice, actually. It's a tent, but I can see there's nothing inside it. It was abandoned by a traveller who came across a corrupt animal. Ah! Law. <laughs> there's a well. Oh, hey, there's some coins in here. An emerald coin, nice. Coin in a well. Who'd have thought? Okay. And I'm assuming there's one of each thingy in each forest, so that's cool. So I'm guessing we go back to the west forest now and see what's behind the boulder. My big guess is that it's going to be a key. <laughs> There's going to be a key behind the boulder. I'm just guessing. Here we go. Nice. There's some coins again. We don't really need coins at this point. <laughs> There's another fruit. And door key. There we go. Okay. So now we should be able to go to Freddy, I assume. There might be another whole forest that we have to go through first, I think. I'm going to assume that anyway. Okay. Let's talk to Sarah. Amazing work, Pop goes. It looks like the west, south, and east forests are all back to normal. But there have been strange sightings in the north forest. We can only assume that there is another machine there, like the ones you've turned off. Still, it must still be active in the castle. With all the castle keys, I think you should check out what's going on inside the castle. But only when you feel that you are ready for it and consider talking to Minora in the inns if you haven't yet. She might be able to upgrade your abilities. Good luck, Pop Goes. Okay. I'm gonna save. And then, I'm gonna check out what abilities we could upgrade. Shortcut. This upgrade will let you instantly move to any forest using holes in the ground. I knew that was going to be a mechanic. Uh, and then we're gonna be able to dig for health, I assume, afterwards. Very cool, very cool. We need three emeralds for that. I'm assuming they're going to be in the castle. This is exciting. This is very, very exciting. Come on then. Give me all you've got. Five Nights at Freddy's. Is this where I want to be? <laughs> uh, this is scary. Find and defeat the king of the castle. This is going to be King Freddy. Whoa, what is... Oh, that's a map. Oh, we don't get to look at it. Yeah, that's a map. Look. That's really cool. Actually. I like that. Okay. Moving on. Coin. Holes in the trees. <laughs> We're getting a lot of coins. I'm kind of scared. It's been a week since my father died. I've tried my best to read one of his books. Because I know he would have wanted me to try picking up where he left off, with his research and all. But I'm just not that kind of person. For now, this castle will be my home. Being king is not all it's cracked up to be. Huh. Okay. Okay, Freddy. <laughs> I'm assuming it's Freddy. It might not be Freddy. There's another book. Night 2. Last night, 
one of the castle paintings, it looked like it was trying to point something out to me. I wasn't tired or anything, I guess it, I could have been imagining things, but it kept looking at me, and then at one of my father's books that was on the floor. I picked up the book. It was one of his earlier ramblings about ghosts. He was adamant that creatures who were killed by the hands of another creature would get a second chance at living as a spectre or a ghost, something like that. He said dying naturally would end the cycle, you'd turn into nothing, disappear, but being killed by someone else, on purpose, the world, nature, karma, it would give you another chance. Huh. Okay. There's a... What is this? <laughs> is it a capybara? No, I know. It's a weasel, I think. I think it's a weasel. Which would make sense. Oh, there's a badger. Or beaver, sorry. Is it a beaver or a badger? I can't actually tell. Emerald. Okay, there's a squirrel and a cat, I think. I mean, these are all the characters of the of Pop Goes, I know. I know. There's a crow. Or a bird. It's it's a uh, stone, right? I assume. I don't, I don't know. Okay. Uh, I have more emeralds again. Night four. Uh, wait. I missed night three. I missed night three. I missed night three. No. 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 Did I miss my night three? I'm assuming I missed night three. There is a lot of reading to go through here. Oh boy. Where's night three? Did I miss night three? <laughs> uh, that's that's night two. Wait, that's night one. This is night two. Uh. I mean, the lore isn't that important to me right now, because I don't really know what's going on. I mean, maybe nobody knows, but... Uh... Is this night three? Night five. I've come up with an idea. Okay, that's very suspicious. Let's let's read night four. I'm really sorry that we've missed night three, but that's, we need to press on. Uh, I think my father is still with me, as crazy as that sounds. Well, it sounds crazy as the stuff is in these books. But he must have had a reason to write those things. He didn't seem insane before he died. Though saying that, he did mention something about how the presence of the paranormal might have a permanent effect on the mental state of nearby entities. As in being near ghosts might make you go into uh, make might make you go a bit cuckoo. He used the word corrupt a lot when referring to what to that kind of behavior, but he never experimented with that kind of thing. I don't think he did anyway. I see. Okay. So the corrupt animals, I mean I'm not very good at, like, understanding law, but, like, the corrupt animals are a result of the experiment of Freddy's dad, which sounds crazy, uh, and, huh, I don't know, oh, Pop goes, my boy, you really have thrown a wrench in my plans. You, your friends, and your world, you don't understand, and you never will. The benefits, the beautiful, freeing, fascinating benefits of being dead. No eating. No drinking. No sleeping. No breathing. It's a peaceful life, if you can call it that. But I knew the idea would be shot down if I pitched it. Democrat democratically <laughs> sorry I butchered that so I had to hide it in the background of course if only you accepted the changes and just let it happen then you might have felt the benefits yourself being dead is truly amazing pop goes it's Freddy dead King Freddy let me show you oh no what the hell what on earth? How am I supposed to beat you? Okay. Now this is ridiculous. Okay. So... Uh, I... This is not gonna work. Okay. 
Is is the attack up? Is this? Oh no, it's a five turns. It says five turns. Okay. So we're gonna get an attack up. Not like it's gonna be useful anyway because we're gonna die. Hooks. Uh. Attack. He's gonna kill us. So we need to. Let's shield. That's a good idea. Uh, oh yeah, we have a spiky shield, so it does attack to him as well. Okay, that's good. Uh, let's hook him. Attack. The shield does damage. Let's use the other shield. Wait, we could actually win this. What the hell? Hook. Let's use the attack plus. We need to jump. We need to heal. Hook. No shot am I doing this first try. I don't even have all the upgrades. Jump. Okay. Okay. Hook. Yes. I like where this is going. I I don't think it's gonna go anywhere, but attack. Wait, we could actually win this. Jump. Okay, and then we can use hook. Oh! Oh no! Wait a second, if I block, he's gonna do 1.5 times damage, right? Yes! Items. Fruit. <laughs> Give me fruit. Okay, I need to jump. And then I can hook. Wait, I've won! Oh. My gosh. How have I done this? How on earth? Dead King Freddy, Pop Goes, The Weasel, you have won, but on your last dry, oops, oh my god, on your last day on earth, you'll regret you did. Yes, you will. When you succumb to a natural end and your body rots into the soil, you would have wished you had the second chance I was going to give you. Wow, that's, that's chilling. Really, that's, that's very chilling. Oh, yay. Wow, Pop goes. It looked like you did it. Oh, it looks like you did it. The beams in the sky have disappeared and the other animals seem to have calmed down. I guess that means everything is back to normal now. Well, I think we should try and fix the North Forest before you consider things normal. Yeah, I was going to say that. But now that Freddy's lasers aren't making everyone crazy, that shouldn't be too hard. Thanks for your help, Pop Goes. I don't know what we would have done without you here. Yes, Pop Goes. Thank you for your help. You did an amazing job. Thanks, dude. Way to go, Pop. <laughs> I won! 91% completion. Okay. Interesting. So what is that based on? Do I need the other upgrades? Wow, so we finished the dead forest? I did not think we would finish today. Wow, that was, okay. I've got to clap to that. That was an amazing game. Um, wow, that was just so good. <laughs> I'm so baffled at how amazing that was. I was not expecting it to be that good. So, in terms of completion, I, I mean, this is the end of the video, so thank you for watching, but, um, in terms of completion, we need to get the final upgrades, which means we we need one more emerald. I don't know where that emerald is, so that's going to be a pain. Do we also need to turn off the lasers to the north forest? I'm assuming that's something you need to do to get 100% completion. So we'll do that, I think, if that's a thing you need to do. 
Uh, but next time, I think we're gonna go straight into Pop Goes and the Machinist, which I think is the other is like the other thing in this game. So I'm excited to play that. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, I will see you then. Goodbye.